Hey everybody, I'm back. So I just did a video on the top three essential oils that I used this morning for my kids first day of school. But also over the weekend, I posted that we got our daughter, we bought Grace the iPhone X, right? So that's like the newest phone. Um, actually I upgraded, I'm picking mine up today and then my husband upgraded. So we're all gonna have the same phone. But um, surprisingly, I received a ton of messages about that post. Um, so I, I didn't do a photo, but it was a few videos um, that I did of in the Apple store. And so I just thought I would get on here and answer a few questions, but also just share a little bit because so many other mothers I feel like are trying to navigate through um, social media like this new era, right? It's so different than, the, than us growing up. And so I will just say, I, I don't know what I'm doing, right? Um, I really, this is all brand new to me. Um, I've been on social media for obviously years and I'm, I'm on it heavily, so I'm always on it. And so um, I don't, but I, it's hard to explain. So I, I feel like I'm not a good one. I, I'm just gonna share my own opinions, but I think this is very, very, very personal. If you guys are just getting, I'm talking about kids and cell phones. <laughs> um, it's because I just got Grace's cell phone. It's her first one. So I will say a couple years ago, we bought her an iPad and she's the only one in our family who has an electronic beside you know, me and my husband. I have an iPad that my kids will play games on. Of course, they'll play games on my phone too. And um, and so, but in, anyway, so Grace had her iPad. That's what she brought to school. That's how she would text me if she went anywhere. Like she would go to school. She would go to Starbucks in her last town. The kids, it was like such a, a hallmark kind of town where the kids just would go free all around town and we lived downtown and so I felt totally comfortable with her doing that even without a phone um, if she got to Starbucks she would just log into their internet and she can text me she can um, work on her homework she would do homework from from there a lot um, but she was always with a friend that had a phone too so for an emergency she can get a hold of me um, I guess, I mean, she was asking for a phone for a long time. I mean, even my kindergartner is asking for a phone. They swear they're the only ones on the planet without a phone. Um, I know that's not true, but in her last school, there were two other only, in the whole seventh grade, there were only two kids that didn't have a phone, and Grace was one of them. And um, it started off as three kids, and then one got one, and so there's only two left and didn't have one, and she was carrying around this big iPad Mini 3. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Um, and everyone had their phones and anyway she's she's such a sweet girl she wouldn't beg for it um, she's not on any social sites so she's not on snapchat or Instagram or Facebook although Facebook is for the old people I hear so she wouldn't want a Facebook anyway um, so anyway I just had this feeling like I was not planning on getting her one I don't I just not that I'm against phones or um, electronics because I feel like, um, you know, it's, I, again, it's very personal, so I'm not gonna put my views on anybody, but um, everyone has to do what's best for their own family, right? And so I just wasn't ready for her to start that yet. Um, she's such a sweet, like, innocent girl. I'm just like, I don't want her getting sucked into trying to be like everybody else or um, looking at, at Facebook, or not Facebook, but Instagram and feeling like she has to compare herself or try to keep up with everybody or, um, just being addicted to the phone like I've, I've read a lot about this and there's pros and cons both ways again I realize that um, but there were studies that were done at high schools and it came out that the girls actually wished that they didn't have social media um, in the in the long you know the long scheme of things because it involved too much pressure they had to know what's going on they had to keep up with themselves if one thing was wrong the whole school knew about it right and I can't imagine that happening when I was a kid um, you know so I was just trying to keep her away from that as long as possible um, but at the same time I want her to feel confident not that I think a phone is gonna change the way somebody feels about themselves but I didn't want her walking into a new school with this old iPad and everyone's trying to like switch you know have numbers and she's in a lot of group texts with her friends and hers is like the the um, I don't even know what it is it's an email but it's the one you get with your Apple ID I don't even know what and it's an email so when she switched when she gives her phone number to everybody it's a this email and the iCloud that's what it's like the iCloud email 
And I'm like, you know what, if this one little thing is going to help her feel confident and more comfortable and, you know, wanting to, to text with her new friends, um, I just had this change of heart where I'm like, it was Saturday morning, I woke up and it kind of like woke me up in the middle, like at 5.40 in the morning, I'm like, oh, I think she needs to get a phone. She's so weird because again, I was not planning on doing that. I just felt like she's ready. She got straight A's. She's on the National Junior Honor Society, you know, just a really sweet girl. Um, of course she likes games and she plays the design home game we both love that game um you know and she'll go on some of the sites if I'm with her but um and they do google um docs and they do all the homeworks and and whatnot through that through their phones and whatnot so um anyway so I wanted to answer questions if you guys have them because I was getting so many questions about the phone and of course now my other kids are begging for their for the phone my my kindergartner Andrew cried for 30 minutes literally that he, why wasn't he getting a phone <laughs> um, but again still no Instagram no snapchat um, it's mostly a place where she can um, text her friends she can still have you know a way to connect with her old friends um, I might give in later but for now I'm, I'm really good um, with with decision, we'll just see. We're not going to let her have it in her room at night. Um, she'll have to keep it, you know, out. Um, again, we're just still navigating this since we just got it, you know. So, uh, how many of you guys? Do you guys? I see a lot of you guys are on. Do you guys allow your kids to have phones, uh, or what social media apps are they on? Right, because I feel like um, we are really good to to bounce ideas off each other and learn from each other. Um, one of the, I think one of the reasons why I'm I'm so strict on the social media is because I'm on social media so much and it is addicting. And if I didn't do so much work on my phone, I probably would not be on it as much, right? Uh, but it it allows me to stay at home, so I have to be on it because that's what I do for work. Um, but I mean, I feel like some of the some of the things that I see are inappropriate, right? On Instagram, if you click one hashtag, it's like it's really bad. Um, or I didn't want like weirdos trying to talk to her, you know, that kind of thing. I think I'm more protective because I'm on it so much. And I just, I see the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's a lot of good. And I think when she does get on, um, I feel like she'll be a really good light to other people. But I just don't think I'm ready to navigate that quite yet. Um, so I'm reading some of your comments. Um, Anne says, what are you planning to do for social media? I think I just answered that. Um, and so if she does want to go on anything, then she'll go on with me. So she has a Pinterest board, but it's on mine, and we go onto it together. Um, but even, like, you go on Pinterest, and, like, I'm like, she doesn't need to see all of the things. There's really a lot of good on there. I just want to say there's a lot of good, but then there's a few bad seeds that come in, right? And I'm like, why did you, why is that there? Why Why does it have to be there? And, um, you know, or, or just different things that come up. So I'm like, it's not bad. I want to say social media is bad. It's not. There's so much good, and I feel like you can you can be the light for others, right, and give positive, um, you know, life into other people through social media. But if you don't know how to navigate that, you can get sucked into the bad. Um, okay, so other people, they don't allow them to use social media. Yeah, and so I mean, my boys use it for games. That's it. And they don't care about social media at all. So luckily they're not even asking. They just want to play games. That's it. Um, Krista says their boys didn't get them till they were 16 and 14. They also had to charge them downstairs at night, not in the rooms. Yep, perfect. Do you guys know of any good apps for monitoring um, social media? Like I don't know the apps. I've got to look that up. But I know there's certain apps where you can go in and you can see things. Like right now she can't even download an app unless I approve it. So there's that. But also, we're we're five minutes from the school right now at drive, so we're not walking distance from the school. So if she wants to ride her bike home or if they want to go to Starbucks or something after school, now she will have a phone, which I'm like, that's great for safety. Um, plus, she can get texts from her mom. I already texted her this morning that I hope that she has a great day. Hopefully, she's not checking her phone during school, but if she does pull it out, she will get a text from her mom with the kiss emoji, right? Um, I'm just reading it. I've heard circle is good, but I don't have experience with it. So, yeah, so I'm going to experiment. I'll let you guys know what I find. Um, this is new to me, too, but I surprisingly have received so many comments about it. So, 
Um, again, if your child has a phone, I don't think it's bad or anything. I just feel like every mom knows what's best for their kids. So that's what I'm sharing. It's just my own personal experience um, so far. And I'm actually surprised she's not begging for um, all the other apps and social media. Of course, her friends were telling her to get Snapchat right away, but... I don't know if I'm there. I was getting a call. I don't know if you guys can still. See. I don't know if you guys can still see me because I was getting a call, but I will end it here then.